The Indian Space Research Organization has confirmed the launch date for its highly anticipated lunar mission Chandrayaan-3. The rocket is slated to launch on July 13th at 2.30 p.m. IST. The mission is India's third venture to the moon that represents another significant step for the nation in space exploration. Following the successful but bittersweet Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019, while the previous mission managed to orbit the moon, the Vikram lander suffered a hard landing that prevented the rover from being deployed as planned. ISRO officials are optimistic this time round about the upcoming mission's potential for success. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is expected to further deepen the understanding of the moon with its main objective being to demonstrate the ability to soft land on the lunar surface and operate a robotic rover. Joining us on the broadcast is Group Captain V. N. Jha, former Joint Director of the DRDO. Good afternoon, sir, and welcome to News X. Um, Chandrayaan, uh, the, the entire mission is something of um, crucial importance as well as pride for all Indians because it was Chandrayaan 1 which discovered uh, the, it was a roaring success, it had discovered water on the moon. Uh, India had in fact earlier in 2019 in the Chandrayaan 2 mission uh, um, attempted something rather ambitious and now we are trying to land on the moon once again. What sort of new breakthroughs do you think we can make? Thank you very much for the cause, because uh, NewsX has always been promoting the science and technology, uh, uh, especially. Uh, as far as the Chandrayaan is concerned, Chandrayaan 2 was also a success, adding, you know, the last uh, moment of uh, a problem with the lander. But Chandrayaan 3 is now sending the lander again. Uh, the orbiter sent in Chandrayaan 2 continues orbiting the moon uh, as such with plenty of success, plenty of information being sent about the environment and about the, about the topology of the lunar surface. Uh, Chandrayaan 3 will be uh, again trying to land there. Uh, you know, uh, when uh, the entire uh, process was uh, uh, decoded regarding the, the failure that we can call of the landing craft there on the moon surface, uh, that basically toppled off and the craft had certain uh, a basic, uh, uh, we, we will not call it a failure, but deficiencies surely in a way. See, this aircraft had a very little tolerance of the axis. Any landing, any maybe soft landing, anything beyond 15 degree would have toppled the craft. And that is how the legs were a bit unstable for the lunar surface, where the surface as such is not plain. So the entire craft, the leg had to be widened. That was the first thing. Secondly, the, the mass, the, the center of mass had to come down a bit because mass, if it is up, it has a tendency to topple on the other side in case if there is an uneven surface of the legs. So these two are the basic things. And thirdly, uh, the landing effort, uh, people, you know, scientists, they thought possibly more fuel will be required for the uh, soft touch down on the surface. So that has been provided. Now, at this moment, it is felt that the, the lander of uh, Chandrayaan-3 has got all uh, issues addressed and it should go very smoothly. Presently, it is, uh, you know, ongoing the uh, assimilation or, or assembly into the, the craft, into the launcher, and all tests have already been done. Next month, sometime in the middle of uh, July, I think that should be launched. So it's a, it's a perfect uh, um, condition for the launch. And uh, in this particular effort, the orbiter, which is already there since 2019, uh, will again integrate this particular uh, uh, launch craft and continue sending the uh, you know the the messages or the photographs or all the technical information scientific informations through the capsules to the earth so i compliment isro for taking up this particular venture having addressed 
all the issues that were uh, apparently felt in Chandrayaan 2 lander. Also listen in to what exactly the ISRO chief has stated. Currently the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is fully integrated. We have completed the testing and also mated with the rocket uh, uh, compartment that's called the payload fairing. And uh, we are building the rocket now. The rocket assembly is going on. Another two days, the rocket assembly will be completed. Then we go through a series rigorous testing program. Then we'll assemble the Chandrayaan-3 on the rocket and we'll go for the launch campaign. So currently, the window of opportunity is between 12th to 19th of July. And we will take the earliest possible date, maybe 12th, maybe 13th, or maybe 14th. We don't go to the end unless there is a technical issue cropping up. That's why there is no exact date today announced. And uh, we will come uh, come to that exact date after all the tests are completed. So people are ru giving rumors of various dates, so it doesn't matter. Final date will be uh, will be within this. Indeed, there you heard it, the ISRO chief S. Somna talking about the launch date. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we are also getting to know there are three crucial objectives. One is to demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface. Uh, the second is to demonstrate the rover's roving capabilities on the moon. And the third is to perform in situ scientific observations. Group Captain Jha, could you please elucidate what this is in a simple and lucid manner for our viewers? See, the, the first objective of the Chandrayaan 2 was land the uh, craft onto the surface of the moon and carry out a few of the scientific uh, tests or, or the demonstrations or the analysis of the surface of the moon, both at the surface and deep under the surface. So these were the principal objective, which since the, uh, the lander could not land, so the rover could not uh, move onto the lunar surface. So the experiment was interrupted. Uh, this time that uh, lander is again being sent there. So its main objective is to land smoothly, softly on the lunar surface at the place, uh, you know, designated by ISRO. And for reaching that particular space, that particular uh, location, uh, what happens in the lunar plan is the first we send the lunar craft into the elliptical, highly elliptical orbit around the Earth so that the sling action on every pass go on and uh, the, the, the speed on the pass is being boosted to an extent that subsequently it takes the trajectory towards the moon uh, with, the, with the escape velocity of about 11.2 uh, to 11.4 kilometers per second and then it proceeds towards the lunar uh, uh, trajectory. After it goes to the lunar uh, uh, gravity, it is trapped there. You know, the acceleration that is slowed, the speed is slowed, and it is left being trapped into the lunar gravity. And then, right now, our orbiter is already there. So within the guidance of the orbiter, right now, ISRO will be uh, tracking this particular uh, Chandrayaan-3 through the orbiter that is already there. So that will uh, see it through land at the designated spot. And to land at the designated spot, there is a, uh, you know, that window, uh, uh, what Mr. Somnath mentioned, window period of launching between 12 and 19 uh, July. So it will be launching, make the sling action uh, in the Earth's orbit, and then again, uh, put go, go towards the lunar trajectory and in the lun lunar uh, gravity get inserted and then first get stabilized and then come to land onto that thing. Now the uh, the the uh, rover, you know, the land lander has got a rover which will roll out of the lander and mm -hmm. then come onto the lunar surface, uh, dig those surfaces analyze those surfaces, they are the inbuilt uh, instruments into the lander, and those scientific analysis data will be sent by the rover into the lander, through the lander to the orbiter, and through the orbiter to the ISRO. So this is the entire uh, 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 right now thought process, how it is going through, and we feel that this time it will be a smooth uh, touchdown onto the lunar surface, and uh, uh, I, I, we, um, entire nation is praying that the ISRO's effort this time will be absolutely successful without any hitch. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.